Hey everyone, I'm Alex Williams and you're watching Fun Again Games. Today we're learning how to set up Gentez, the next great game from Spielworks. Let's do this. Alright everyone, Gentez is a civilization building board game from Spielworks and Stefan Rishaus, the designer of Arkwright. This game plays in about 90 minutes for two to four players. And as I said, we're going to be learning how to set up the game. The first thing players do is set up the game board in the center of the playing area. In a two-player game, players will be covering up the cities in the yellow region. This won't be used in the two-player game. The players will then place the action tiles on the corresponding spaces. The reverse side of these tiles is going to tell you which of these tiles is going to be used for different player counts. For example, if a tile has four dots on the back, this tile is only used in the four-player game. When playing a two- or three-player game, players will place these tiles where they go face down. For the purpose of this setup, I'm going to set it up as though we were playing with four players, just so we can see all the components. Players then place the bonus point tiles on their respective spaces. The tile giving eight victory points goes on top of all the other tiles that only give four. When playing with less than four players, one or two of the four point bonus tiles will go back into the box. Players then place the purple turn marker on the first place in the turn track. Players will then shuffle the six training cost tiles and then place them on the spaces of the table of costs. Players will then make a general stock area next to the game board for the time tiles, all of the different coins, the brown wooden cubes, and finally the plus 50 and plus 100 victory point tiles. All the materials in the general stock are limitless, so if you run out, find a suitable replacement. Each player takes a play mat, the matching wooden components, 11 brown wooden cubes, and just one time tile. Players place six wooden cubes in the zero spaces on the left and right of the population chart, indicating that they have zero population in each category. Players also place five wooden cubes and a time tile with the single hourglass facing up in the six rightmost spaces in their time track. Players place their victory point marker in the zero space of the victory track. Players place their six cities next to their player mats. This forms their own sock and are used to build cities throughout the game. Each player takes 20 coins. Throughout the game, players' coins should be visible to all players. The players choose a first player in any way they like, and that player takes the starting player token. The starting player separates the civilization cards according to their era. He shuffles each era separately then places the second and third era next to the board. Now the starting player will reveal three civilization cards from the first era for each player playing. In a four player game, we're going to reveal 12 cards. Beginning with the player to the right of the starting player and going counterclockwise, each player takes one card into their hand until they all have two. Again, the starting player takes the remaining era one civilization cards and shuffles them back into the deck. Next, each player selects exactly four people as their starting population. This can be done in any combination as long as they don't go over four people. They select these people by marking it on their population chart. In your first game of Gentes, in order to make setup much easier and more balanced, have each player start with these civilization cards and starting people. The starting player gets the treasure chamber and the monument. One noble, two priests, and one merchant. The second player gets the tenement, and the training ground, one noble and three soldiers. The third player gets the marketplace and the shipyard, one artisan and three merchants. Finally, the fourth player gets the scriptorium and the road, one artisan and three scholars. Finally, the starting player takes the top eight civilization cards from era one and places them in the row at the bottom of the board making sure to put one card in each space. The starting player must then place the rest of the Era 1 Civilization cards to the right of this row. 
Now you're ready to start playing Gentas. Alright guys, that is it for setting up Gentas. I hope you liked the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other Gentas videos, including an unboxing, a how to play, and a playthrough. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to us right here on YouTube for more videos. And remember, you can get Gentas at funagain.com.